In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and complete setup of your HP Color LaserJet Pro MFP283 FDW printer. So this printer can do the copy, print, scan and fax. So let's start with the unboxing. So here is the manual. That's the USB cable. Power cable is here. Remove the protective tape. Plug in the power cable. Press the power button and go to the printer control panel. Select the language. Select your country. Click next. If you are using it as a self-managed, you can select the first option. If it's managed by the IT, you can just select the IT managed. Confirm it. Load the paper. Printer comes with the pre-installed ink toner. And for loading the paper, you have to slide out this. Adjust the size. Place the pages. slide it in press ok so you can see the main screen of the printer as you can see it says copy scan fax usb supplies apps setup everything is there now click on the setup now we have to do the wireless setup so go to the network setup wireless menu so we have few options we can use the Wi-Fi protected setup that is WPS setup or we can use the wireless setup wizard so that will just display the list of Wi-Fi networks select your Wi-Fi network enter its password Once you enter the password, press OK. Printer is connected with the Wi-Fi network, press OK. Next step is to start using this printer. Now you can already start using it for the copy, but if you want to print with the Macbook, laptop or your smartphone, then we have to add this printer. Go to the Windows laptop and open the HP Smart app. In the app we have to add the printer. So click on add a new printer. So you can see our HP LaserJet printer that's here. Select it. It says driver unavailable, printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. Click on the add device. Add your HP LaserJet printer. So it says ready. Now we can close this window. Now we can continue the setup process. So here is our HP LaserJet printer, we just installed it, it displays the estimated level of ink supply. We can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. So let's do a scan. So click on the scan icon. Now place a page on the scanner. 
We can do the scanning using the ADF tray on the top or we can also use the scanner bed. So I'm just going to use the scanner bed so it should be this corner. Click on the scan. We can see the scan is there in the window and you can just save it. I will also show you the printing so that we can see how the speed is. So I am just going to print this document, click on the print. Let's see the print. If you want to improve the print quality, you have to go to the printer control panel. Scroll ahead, setup. Scroll down, go to the system setup. Print quality. Or just alignment. Select print test page, tray 2, so it has a letter size paper. So everything looks clear and great. So that means it's correct. The x1 value is equal to 0. Yes, x2. Whereas the y value is 0. That's right. Now go to the setup menu again. And here we can go to the system setup. Scroll down. Print quality. Adjust alignment. Paper is in the tray 2, so select tray 2, select x1 shift, the value is 0, so press OK, for x2 shift, go to the back of the page that was printed and you will see it has x2 written on that and it says the value is 0 as well. So press OK, Y shift, so scroll to the front, Y value is equal to 0 as well, so that's correct and press OK. So we have just done the alignment, it should be printing nice and now go to the home screen. Next step is to add it in a smartphone for powerless printing and scanning. For example, I'm just going to add in my iPhone. In the iPhone you have to download the HP Smart App. You can download the app from the App Store. Simply click on the plus button on the top. Select the second option complete now. Select HP Color Laser Jet Printer. Instantly it will show up here and now we can start using with the smartphone. So it's very easy once you do the wireless setup you just have to add in your MacBook, laptop, iPhone, Android phone, tablet and then you can start printing. For example to print a document I can just select one, click on the print preview, make sure your printer shows up here, paper size is correct. We can also do the two sided long edge and we can go back and click on the print. Let's see the print result. The print result is great and it's nice as it should be. 
So this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and then we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. So that is a setup with the Windows laptop and your smartphone. Thanks for watching.